Pro as the Retro Dandy here. So I've had a few days to play with the C64 Mini. I figured out how to add games to the carousel. Um, I found a few guides online, videos on YouTube on how to do this, but I'm trying to streamline it and just make it a bit quicker. So hopefully this guide will get you installing games to the carousel in no time at all. So let's crack on and take a look and see how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to provide a link to where you can download the C64 game tool. This is what we're going to use to create our image. Download it, unzip the file to somewhere on your hard drive, and then go and find where you unzipped it, open the app, then to add a game, click on Add. Now, we're just going to need to click on the dots, the ellipses next to the game field, find your game image. D64 format is recommended because they're quicker to load. Type the game name in the game name field, as you would expect. And then you're going to need some more information. So I use a couple of resources here. Lemon64 is brilliant because it's got loads of information about the game. Moby Games is also pretty good. Um, so what we're going to start with is copying the coder details to the author field. The musician to the composer field. Type in the year because as you'll see I copy it. Try to paste it and it doesn't like the format. So type that in. Then choose your genre. There's only a few to pick from, but it should cover everything. And then description. So I find that Moby Games is the best for description of games. There is a character limit, so you can only have so much. So for Armalite, I just pick the first paragraph, just because it's short. And it just is something to display on the carousel screen. Copy that in and paste it. And then you're going to need your artwork. So... Again, Lemon64 is probably the best place for this. Now, you can save the artwork somewhere on your hard drive. It will save it as a JPEG file, um, which is fine, but you're going to need to open it up in Photos and then save it as a PNG file, which is what I'm doing here. That's because the C64 game tool doesn't seem to like stuff in JPEG format. So save it as a PNG. Then close down Photos. Go back, grab a couple of screenshots that take your fancy. These do save as PNG files by default, so you won't need to convert these. Done. Then we go back to the C64 game tool. Choose your cover. You might want to name them just so you know what's what. Choose your first screenshot. I like to go for a title screen. And then your second screenshot. Whatever takes your fancy. That's pretty much it. Most of this stuff should be fine as default um, with the settings there. So OK that. It will then add it to the carousel in the app. Click on Make FW. Then ensure you tick Backup Games and Restore Basic. Then click on Make. It will compile everything into an image. Then once you've done that, plug in your USB drive. A FAT32 formatted one and then you're going to need to click on the save button and then you'll have to direct it to the USB drive. Now as you can see here I've done this a few times before so I've already added some games. You choose your drive, it adds the firmware there. If you've already got one there from adding games previously just choose to save over it, that's fine. And then um, once that's done, it only takes a couple of seconds, close down the window and then we're ready to go over to the C64 and install the games. Okay, so we're on the C64 with the USB drive inserted. So go down to the settings icon, system information, and then we can do an update because it says there's one available. So go and choose apply. And then you will get this screen where it shows that it's installing the quote update. Um, I'm going to speed this up because it's a bit slow. So that's going to install. That will just take a minute or two and then it will reboot. And here we go, there's Armalite. It's a different image from the one I had originally because the original didn't work. Um, something to do with the fast loader. But anyway, it did work. Um, I think there's a limit to how many games you can have um, on the C64 Mini, so use this sparingly. You don't want to edit games one at a time anyway. Um, but anyway, hopefully this has helped you out and uh, get some more games on there. And um, Enjoy. Happy gaming.